Well, hello, my darlings. How are we today? Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting with me in my kitchen. Today, we are going to make chicken soup. The hubby's feeling a little under the weather, so I decided that maybe some chicken soup will make him feel better. So, but what's good about this chicken soup is it's not going to take forever to make. We're going to do it nice and quick, and I'm going to show you how. So stay tuned, and let's get started. So this is what we're going to need basically. We're going to add some other things in later, but these are your main ingredients on today. We are going to need some celery, onion, bell pepper, tomato, some mushrooms, and some chicken. This is rotisserie chicken that uh, we bought from the grocery store already prepared. And since my husband's feeling a little under the weather, we're going to make some chicken soup with this chicken. All right, let's get started. Okay, so now, the way we're going to start is, of course, you have to start with your clean surface on your cutting board. We are going to start by chopping up our onion. And as you can see, I have my trusty little trash bowl to the side so that I don't have to keep walking back and forth to throw things into the trash. So we're going to start by chopping up our onion. We're going to chop up all of our veggies that's going to go in the, in the soup. And then we're going to put them all in a bowl together. And you're going to see how quickly this goes. So we're going to chop our onion. And remember, I told you, whenever I'm peeling an onion, you know, you always peel the top layer off. I always go down one extra layer because sometimes that top layer, the little papery part, you know, this little part here has, um, that's the part everybody pulls off. But sometimes the paper, the part up under, not the paper, I'm sorry, the next layer up under it is a little bit tough. So I always pull that top layer off as well. I pull off the little peel plus that first layer. So now we're going to chop the onion. And notice how I am holding the knife, guys. I'm holding it between two fingers like this because it gives me a little more control. Okay. And then we're going to chop and just give it a rough chop here. And I'm actually going to use an entire onion in this recipe, not a half. And then we're going to chop the other half. So we've got our onion all chopped up. Put that in the bowl. Doesn't have to be perfect, but now with your bell pepper, I always pull out the top, the inside. And I'll tap it over the bowl to make sure I get any excess seeds. And we're going to use an entire bell pepper. Okay, so we got this bell pepper. Giving that a nice rough chop. Doesn't have to be diced up. It's chicken soup. It's chicken vegetable soup. So you want to make sure you got your good veggies in there. So we're cutting up our bell pepper. All right, and now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of celery stalks. Now make sure you rinse your celery because your celery, if it's not rinsed, celery holds dirt. So make sure when you're getting ready to use it, you rinse it out because you don't want to have little dirt pieces here. And then you're cutting. Now how I do my celery, I always cut the ends off, toss them in the trash bowl. And then I cut that top part off, toss that in the trash bowl. All right, and then here we go. We are cutting up the celery to go into our soup. Very easily done, especially if you have a good knife. You can get good knives at reasonable price. You do not have to see how easy this knife is cutting. It makes really quick work of stuff. This is a Hampton Forge knife. Um, not sure if you can see it, but this is a Hampton Forge knife. I actually bought a set of three of these. This came with the butcher knife, the parrot knife, and the little small serrated knife for like $13 at Walmart. They come in a pack of three. You can buy a whole set, three, four hundred dollars or two hundred dollars for one, and you're able to do that. That's fine. But a lot of times, sometimes when you're cooking or when you're just starting to learn to cook, you can't really 
you know, afford to spend that much on one knife. So, if you can do that, by all means do it. But if you just want some good knives at a reasonable price, Hampton Forge. Excellent knives. Love them. They cut so easily. Like, for instance, I am currently cutting tomatoes. Usually, I use a serrated knife to cut a tomato because regular knives have a tendency <laughs> to not cut them so well. But as you can see, this one is making very quick work of this tomato. Now, no, this is not a sponsored video. You guys, nobody paid me to say anything. They did not give me any free knives. I'm brand new. <laughs> so, I'm just talking about what I like. So, if you would like to pick some up, run out to Walmart and grab some Hampton Forge knives. They also sell them at Target. You can get those there too. So, we've cut up all of that. Normally, we would cut up some... Um, carrots but I actually ran out of carrots today. I checked my refrigerator and didn't have any. Our mushrooms are already sliced. So if we're going to wipe down this board and then we're going to cut up our chicken. Okay so now I have taken the chicken, a big hunk of the chicken out of the container. This is just rotisserie chicken guys that I picked up I want to say Kroger's. Nope, Costco. That's where I got it. This is just some rotisserie chicken that I picked up at Costco. And you see, see what I'm doing? I'm getting the bone out. This is the breast. So I'm just going to rip the meat off and get, the, get that breast bone out. Because who wants soup with a bunch of bones in it? So. Let me just get that breastbone out. And I'm gonna, and these are the wings, of course. And I'm gonna put the wings to the side because they actually make really good chicken stock. Um, so I'm gonna tear those off, put them to the side. As you can see, I'm pulling all this meat off the bone. And I prefer, I know you, you can use a knife. I prefer to use my hands when I'm doing something like this, especially if the meat's already cooked because sometimes you can pull the meat off with your hands and get a better result than trying to cut around all the bones. You could just pull uh, away from the bones. Okay, so now, um, this is a whole chicken breast and then I'm going to take a leg quarter, the leg quarter from the chicken and take the meat from that as well the drumstick in the thigh. Just pull all of that meat off. There we go. And then I'm gonna toss that bone to the side. Okay. So now if you can see, they gave us quite a bit of chicken. So I'm going to Rinse my hand, wash my hands off first. Uh, so that gave us quite a bit of chicken. Okay, so you see that gave us quite a bit of chicken. So now I'm just going to take the knife and do a rough chop over this chicken to kind of give us some chunks to work with. Now keep in mind that while this soup is cooking in the pot, the chicken is going to break apart. It's not going to stay these big pieces, but you kind of want to help it out a little bit, which is why I'm doing the rough top chop. And yes, I'm leaving the skin on. <laughs> Gives it a little more flavor. I told you I am the one that chooses not to eat meat anymore. My husband is a carnivore, so he likes all of it. <laughs> so, all right, so I've given it a rough chop. I'm going to put it in a bowl. We're going to put all of this in a pot together and incorporate it in have our soup to get going so we'll be right back okay so as you can see here we have an empty pot and yeah this is the old school pot of brown glass it's old school y'all <laughs> so have an empty pot what we're going to do is at the bottom of this pot that we've already sprayed with a little bit of um, um, cooking spray we're going to drop all of those veggies that we just cut up the tomatoes the onions 
the bell peppers, the celery. We're going to drop all that into that pot. Okay. And then we're just going to stir it around and let it begin to cook. Okay. Now, as that is cooking up there, I'm going to start adding my seasonings. So I'm going to add a little pepper, a little pinch of pepper. Normally I don't put a lot of pepper in anything because of my husband's acid reflux, but we're going to work with it a little bit here today. We're going to put about two teaspoons of fennel seed. Okay. We're going to put a dash of rosemary, about two teaspoons of rosemary, maybe three, depending on how much you like the flavor. And we're going to put some black sea salt couple of pinches. Well, let's go with three pinches because you got to put water in this. So you want to make sure that you're getting all the flavor you can. Okay, so we're mixing that around and letting it saute. You hear it sizzling, so we're turning and mixing that around there. Now as that is sizzling, we're going to go ahead and put in our mushrooms. A bunch of chopped mushrooms. That we have pre-sliced. You can buy mushrooms pre-sliced at the grocery store, of course. Um, but, you know, you can slice them yourself or, or buy them pre-sliced. Either way. Okay. So we incorporated our mushrooms, our fresh mushrooms in. We're stirring all that around. It's sizzling good. Smelling heavenly. We're going to add... A couple of shakes of time. One, two, let's say three. Three. <laughs> three shakes of time. And we're going to add a little smoked paprika, paprika about two tea, two to three teaspoons of smoked paprika. Should do it. If you want to use a little chicken bouillon, you can. Or even vegetable bouillon, you can. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, usually I have found that the chicken actually gives it enough flavor but we're gonna go ahead and you know you can use any of that so we're gonna let that cook down a little bit and see how it's already turning glossy we're gonna let that cook down a little bit and then we're gonna add our water all right guys you see the steam coming out of the pot which means that we are about ready so we're gonna take four cups of water and add to start with and if you could smell it you would understand it smells so good and then we're going to take our chicken and mix that in there we go look at that that looks so good and we're going to add i'm going to add a little bit more water uh probably about two more cups just to be safe so we've added a couple more cups of water. Now if you want to add some extra protein to some soup like this, you could put some black beans in it. You could put chickpeas in it. Any of that. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to put some black beans in it just to give it a little extra protein. And then we're going to let this simmer for a little while. You put it on medium. We're going to put the top on and let it simmer. For about 20 to 30 minutes, because you now about 20 minutes, because you gotta remember everything in here is already done. So already done cooking. So it just needs to all marry each other. So we're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes. Uh but burbling a little bit, and we'll be about done. Okay, so it's been like 20 minutes, and our chicken soup is pretty much ready. I added in one can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whichever one you wanted to call it, just to give it a little extra heartiness and a little extra uh, uh, protein because uh, he is feeling a little sick. I think he may be coming down with the flu, so I want to kind of give him something that's going to make him feel full, but, you know, give him that broth that he needs for his throat. So we're going to put this in a bowl and serve it up and we'll be ready. Okay, so 
All right, my darlings, there you have it. We made us a nice hearty bowl or hearty, hearty pot of chicken soup, chicken and vegetable soup. We even added some chickpeas to it to give it a little extra protein. And anytime you can get some of mama's homemade chicken soup, it always seems to make you feel just a little bit better. So give this recipe a try, something quick and easy, something you can even save for the next day or a couple of days after. And guess what? You can freeze that and it'll keep into in the freezer for about two weeks. So you can freeze it and take it out later for next week if you like a good make ahead meal. So if you liked what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit like and subscribe on these sides. <laughs> and just keep coming back and, and, and visiting with us. And we're going to keep just uploading videos. And tell me what you'd like to see. And we'll make it happen. So, thank you so much for stopping by again. I love you. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch little old me make some soup at home. And guess what? I'm going to taste the broth because I know it's good. And then I'm going to take this nice bowl of soup into the hubby since he's feeling a little under the weather. Perfect. So thank you guys again for stopping by and visiting with me. Don't forget about our monthly giveaway. Your questions have to be in by the 12th. And then the winners are announced on the 15th. That's every month up until March. So thank you again. God bless you. Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful evening. Mama Kim has always got your back when it comes to this food. Happy cooking.